Hi, I'm Natasha Marchevka. And I'm Kim Wilson. And this is Speechless. 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 Welcome to our behind the scenes take on real life VO, where we share stories, resources, and our unsolicited mm -hmm. opinions. Welcome, welcome. Yum. Look what I have today. You can't see it because it's in. Is a, it purple? It's a purple jar and a purple drink. What is it? It's um, a smoothie that um, actually, Bridget Reel made this concoction, and I caught she wrote it on Bridget Reel is a voice actor. And she wrote this on Facebook years ago, frozen blueberries, uh, coconut <gasps> milk or coconut cream, coffee, cacao, cinnamon, and that's it. That's you have cinnamon, one. I think, in every single one of your drinks. Mm. You love it. I, I do. It's you do. Good. I really love it. Anyway, what are you drinking today? <laughs> oh, <Kim>? yes. <clears throat> it's Friday. I am oh, drinking a watermelon smash, right? And it has a floaty, has a floaty, hold on. It has a floaty mint in there. Hold you on. Hold, please. <laughs> you have this beautiful makeup face and outfit oh. you this big glass that you have to put up your face with a watermelon in it. What is in it? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's in it? Um, it... <laughs> I think it's a watermelon margarita with mint. I thought it was a watermelon smash, but I think my husband You've made it for me. The topic for today is called, we're rolling, take 137, how to speak when you stumble and bumble. Mm, this is the story of my life. So me, I, my brain, I can be in a session <laughs> live and my brain, I must have ADD or something, but I my brain gets stuck and I just, I'm like, and I just can't get out of my own way. It's something that um, I've really learned over the years to really work on. So I have a bunch of tips and tricks uh, out cool. there. Cool. And also just to say, don't sweat it when you do, because we all have these issues and we are human beings. Can I tell you a really sad story? Uh, wait. <laughs> no, don't have another well tip tip kim has all these amazing tips that she's told me about and i wish i had them when i was in fifth grade because i was in a christmas pageant in fifth grade i wrote a blog about this by the way if you want to go to nishashamarchefka.com <laughs> it's just a brief little thing how to have confidence even when you're not feeling it but all this oh, that's say. a great, that's a great oh, title. Go good. read that. Everyone Thanks. needs that. Go. So when I was in fifth grade, I was in a Christmas pageant and I had to say, you know, read, memorize two sentences or something. And I couldn't say it. And I actually had a teddy bear with me because it was like a Christmas pageant, whatever. I remember holding it and I had to say people. And I was like, pip, pip, <laughs> <laughs> and the whole audience oh my gosh a whole hundreds of kids laughing and laughing and laughing and I couldn't say the Aww. words actually that I was in the PTA a few years why ago why are you in voiceover today like are you healing right? that inner it's child the worst. it was the worst thing and I didn't have someone like you to say it's okay it happens to everyone but in I was doing this speech for PTA and thankfully I had um someone with me, the lovely and talented Kristen Cruz, who was a radio announcer in LA. So she had, you know, the ability to improv and be quick. Yeah. Yeah. See, in voiceover, we have scripts. <laughs> right. Radio, they just, and I'm not good at on the fly anyway. So I, Same. I did that at uh, an audience thing for the PT. I'm like, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, and thankfully Kristen took over for me. So it, it she happened. did, did she, she kind of stepped in? You know what I, well, what I stumbled and mumbled on was her name. Oops. <laughs> and I know her name, but I was like, K -k 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 -k. so give us it some tips. to everyone. So I just want to reassure everyone that that is a normal thing. And if you don't, if you haven't seen our, our episode on why should you, um, 
mingle with your competitors. This is a reason because you realize that all the mistakes you make, everyone else is making too. So the first thing that you guys should know about Bumble and Stumble is you want to create muscle memory in your brain. And if you think about it, think of all the songs you knew that you know by heart and you can just sing them. So what I do is I get to a hard word or a sentence or a phrase and I sing it. I sing it in slow and then I, sw- I sing it faster. Can and you then give I give us an example, Kim. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> give us an okay, example. Okay. So I would say, uh, let's see, give, give me a sentence or, or like a word. Like, Im- Im- see, I- I'm having trouble. Some people say immunology and some people say immunology. So if the client wants to say immunology, I would be like, immunology, 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 immunology. And I would say that over and over and over. And then pretty soon, when you come to that word, your your brain has already practice. figured out. But what about when they change the pronunciation of the same word you've practiced so many times? Exactly. You've got to sing it. Okay. Immunology, immunology. Have you done it in a session where you sing? Because I have in a medical narration directed yeah. session had to say something. And so I will, when it wasn't even singing it, I was just repeating it many times. And there was like a giggle on the other end. I'm thinking, okay. is Because uh, everyone's like sweating when you, when you, <laughs> everyone on the other end is like, is she going to get it? Is she going to get it? <laughs> Come on. Um, What are some other ideas for how you get through this situation? Oh, God. Well, um, I I have have a list here written out if you that you you shared with me. Oh, tell me. Tell me. What's one of my tips and tricks? Point to the word. That's true. When you're reading the script, if you're reading it like this and you get to that word, if you point to it, you're able to get over the hump and say that word that's that's uh, but you got to be careful you don't push on that word that's the only thing with ah, pointing right. you can use quotation marks too which is really good immunology you get through the get yeah. through the word like if it's a, a word like a greater immunology treatment greater immunology treatment there's there's the quotes in the air when you do that it connect something with your brain and all you brain scientists out there can tell me what it is but it works the same way singing works um what about phonetic spelling where are you with all of that i do it all the time don't you phonetically spell out words international phonetic alphabet who does no So when i say can i have it spelled phonetically they're like oh well we don't know the international phonetic language and i'm like well no kidding i can't read the phonet international phonetic. right you do rhyming words so I, like if, if like a consonant rhymes with, if it's low, it rhymes with toe. So I'll write yes. toe, but like low, like I, 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 I do rhyming associations with, yeah. with big words and that really helps. I, you know what, this is, so this other blog post I wrote is called how to effectively explain the pronunciation of tricky words, tricky words. So I'm going to give all my resources because this is good. Yes. So, uh, hirer is listening a script writer is listening yeah please talent first of all if you want to look for pronunciation yourself and kim you might have extra ones i've got four fourvo.com dictionary.com and youtube.com and miriamwebster.com okay say well, it out dictionary is easier to write out i don't know how to spell Miriam Webster. So. <laughs> right and then the other thing for having um script writers help you leave a voicemail with the correct pronunciation on the talent's phone and the talent can play it over and over. If mm-hmm. you can't record a rough audio file, you can record a rough audio file and email it to the talent. But if you leave a message, you know, everyone can do that. Oh, and, um, but if you're going to type out the pronunciation phonetically, aside from the rhyming capitalized capitalize the emphasized syllables. Yep. So don't just write it in lowercase uh, hyphen, lowercase hyphen, lowercase, because we don't know where to then emphasize it. You need to capitalize the bit that's emphasized so that uh, we say it correctly. And on this particular blog, I have how to pronounce my name. So Natasha, ta being capitalized, Marchefka, 
chef chef is capitalized there you go so i yeah. love it well i was and- like l- looking at you so intensely like <laughs> pronouncing your name <laughs> my chef that was a lot of um that was and and that was lots of secrets just it was out. good so yeah so if you have any comments please do comment below click mm-hmm. to subscribe please or you can email us but i might not answer kim probably i not. will read it <laughs> i might not answer and but i'll read it remember kim fuck, fuck it. it let's be, let's awesome, be awesome now why because we got because shit to do we've got shit to do <laughs> that's right bye guys thank you for bye. being here i'm getting off i'm i'm, I'm... <laughs> Speechless.